Valley Auto Sales. For affordable, reliable vehicles, call 1-505-249-7134 or visit online at www.valleyautosales.com. Welcome to Cage Minds. I'm Micah Frankel. And joining us on Fight Week, ahead of his pro debut, it's the Haas, Mark Hussey. Thank you for the time, sir. How's it going? Sir, always my friend. How are you feeling? Like, how are you feeling, like, emotionally, physically, everything? How are you feeling this week? Man, I, I feel great. I feel like this pro debut is a long time coming. Been, shoot, five years at this game, and finally, you know what I mean, this time carried herself like a professional, did the camp like a professional. Everything feels great, man. Weight's in a crazy good spot. Nutrition was on point. Everything feels exactly how it should, man. We all have memories nowadays in our phone. Images are readily available. So when you see five years ago, Mark, what do you think about of that guy back then? Man, I know that I'd start him. That's for sure, man. <laughs> I know. Uh, but I see the memories pop up. It's crazy how far we've grown, even just from a year ago. You know what I mean? Uh, started working with John, John Dotson about two years ago and seeing the pad work and the work that we were putting in two years ago compared to now is just crazy. And there was something you said there at the beginning, putting in a, a pro camp. What did that fully entail? Uh, you know, it was just 12, 12 weeks of very hard work, man. And then uh, really some of the things that I didn't take too seriously at the beginning of this career, like like I said, my nutrition, uh, the weight, the even just the extra workouts, the stuff people don't see, and the recovery stuff, you know what I mean, wasn't really on point and. This time, everything's been on point for 12 weeks at a time, man. It's since I got this contract, I've been ready to rock. Even before that, we were expecting this to be in like December. So I've been at it since then, man. You know what I mean? And really haven't fallen off. I've stayed fast, stayed the course. I'm ready to go. What did it take for you to, to truly get that motivation or, or focus in line in the right direction? You know, man, I don't even know if it was motivation, to be honest with you. It felt like, uh, it was just the way things were supposed to progress, you know what I mean? And we just started doing the right things day by day. And before we knew it, it was 12 weeks down the road and the fight's here, you know what I mean? Especially, and then for sure, you know what I mean? Signing a pro contract, you feel like you have to carry yourself a little different. Um, I guess I can say another thing that kind of helped is now we kind of have a full team growing over there at Nobody's Villain and United Fit. And being one of the leaders there, I want to lead from the front and lead by example, not just tell these people what to do. You know what I mean? I want to be an example and do the things that they think they should also. That was a big part. So you forced yourself to step up to the plate, seeing who you wanted to be? Yes, sir. Exactly. What did it take and what was the hardest lesson you felt in the amateur run to, to get it, for it to snap for you? Uh, for sure, the weight miss. Jim, uh, a, year, a year ago last week, I missed weight for 170 the first time we tried to make it. And ever since then, man, I felt fucking embarrassed that that happened. You know what I mean? Being a wrestler all my life and being a competitor all my life, that's something that shouldn't have happened. So now, uh, you know what I mean? Right after after that, it was just, it flipped a different switch in me, man. 170 pounds. We're feeling good. You're feeling on target this week? Yeah, man. I'm two pounds away to talk to you right now. So what is that? How does that do for you, for your confidence and just how proud you are of where you've come in the last year? Oh, tons, man. Ton. Uh, I mean, like I said, I've damn near turned in. Even after this, I'm probably going to go become a certified nutritionist because I've had to be, you know what I mean, since I've decided to make this cut and possibly even try to make the cut to 55 after this. So, you know what I mean? It, it's been huge. Is that something you're really kicking around there? Maybe a, a lightweight Mark Hussey? Yeah, he, yeah, for sure. I, I believe this. Uh, most of this pro run will be at 55. You know what I mean? The last two cuts, the last cut to 170 was a little harder. This one was so easy that I have the extra. You know what I mean? If I really outside of camp live the same life that I'm living in camp with a little bit of tweaks and a little bit more relaxation, I'm there, man. And I'm going to go make a problem there. So how big of a word now are you finding is dedication for you? Uh, huge man, huge. I, I I live this life, and every day I fall more in love with the life of being a martial artist and an athlete. You know what I mean? This I truly believe. For I wrestled for eighteen years before I tried to do this stuff, and this is what me, my father, and the coaches that have coached me were breeding. You know what I mean? I was built for this game, and 
this is what my life entails. You hear that a lot from people, but uh, what does it mean to you living the life of a martial artist? Uh, shit, man, waking up and doing what other people don't want to do. You know what I mean? Taking things seriously uh, and truly lo loving this game. You know what I mean? I've I've loved being in pain. I've I've been in pain all my life. It's really it's nothing new to me. I'm I'm supposed to be this athlete that I'm becoming. Your opponent is going to be Bailey King. What do you know? Yeah. How do you approach this one? Uh, dangerous kid, big six five boy from my uh from Texas. You know, Peak really likes him a lot. Uh, has a has a bunch of good finishes. Really, uh, it's gonna be a good one, man. I think my pressure is gonna be a little too much for him. I think he likes to fight straight on the line, and I don't do that right now. I'm off on different sides of you all the time, and really, I think I think I'm gonna be a tough matchup for him. I think they're overlooking us pretty solid, like. But it's definitely a tough kid standing in front of us, and I'm aware of that. Well, you said a tough kid. Do you think he's a dangerous guy? Oh yeah, yeah, man. He just needs people's eyes in the back of their head. He's finished everybody he's fought. There's, there's definitely danger. But that's that's what we do this game for, man. I don't want to pad a record. I, I'd, I'd love to start my pro, pro career with a win over someone with two wins already. You know what I mean? So do you feel like this is this is a move to make a statement almost taking on a guy like this. This is you coming to put your name out there right away. Sure, man. Sure. You get a win over this guy. There's he has viral knockout stuff like that. You have to win over him and the right kind of eyes are on. Was that something that you knew, like looking at the fight heading in, or is that something that you learned since taking the fight? Yeah, no, we, we've known it for a while. Like I said, we thought about matching up. They even gave us his matchup back in December and we said, yes, and it didn't work out then. So I've kind of been looking at him for a while. And really, even before that, we're not looking for easy fights. We're Me and my team are looking for fights that get us on the board and get us moving in the right direction. You said six foot five, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Just, just making sure I heard that right. Yeah, man. Everyone kind of says that, but I don't. I ain't got no worries about it. You know what I mean? My first fight was someone six seven, Jackson. He's actually on the card, too. He was a six seven kid, smashed him, you know what I mean? Came back after my injury, fought Bobby Grego, who was a six five, one eighty five, and all of one eighty five. Bobby's a big man, you know what I mean? And got through that test too, even dropped him in the fight, and now we beat the hell out of each other for nine minutes of an amateur fight, you know what I mean? And I think I think I'm ready for this. I'm more just think of it. <laughs> Going back to my first kickboxing fight, Nick matched me up with someone that was like 6'8". I had never thrown punches in my life, and the dude was 6'7". You know what I mean? So we've, we've been doing this for years. It's almost poetic that it's going to be this guy that we have to go out there and beat for our first pro fight. Yeah, I, I thought I remembered this image of Mark trying to swing really high up in the air already once before. I'm like, have I seen yeah. this? Yeah, but that was back when I only had overheads too, man. <laughs> What part of the amateur run did you feel will stick with you forever? Like, what's the most prevalent me memory that you feel is going to stick with you from these years? I feel like, really, like I just said, that Bobby Grego fight, man, that was that was a war. That was something that really even could have been a pro fight itself. You know what I mean? There was good technique. There was uh, big obstacles to get through. We beat the hell out of each other. You know what I mean? It was nine minutes of war. You know, we fought each other very hard. Um, and that that's, you know, we and that dude are tied for lives. That's my brother at this point. You know what I mean? We support everything each other do. That's going to be a school back on that one. I ain't going to lie. The Darts finished off the, the, pro, the amateur career was pretty fun, too. But that was a little too quick. Yeah. Peak Fighting Championship in Beaumont, Texas. The Bro debut. It's been a long journey for Mark Cussy. I can't wait to see what you're doing. It's just barely getting started. And you've already said it feels like a long journey. Yep. Yes, sir. Well, really, it was just, uh, you know what I mean? When I first started out, we had COVID kind of tear us apart. You know what I mean? And then right as COVID was ending, when it broke my foot in half, had to sit out another year and a half or two. So really, I feel like I'm somewhere it could have happened two years ago if everything aligned right. But you know what I mean? God has a plan. And you know, we just follow the footsteps to stay on the course, and now here we are. You've taken all of those in strides. Do you feel like any of those were setbacks, or it's all just led to this moment? Because 
those were some major times that you had to force yourself away from <laughs> progressing at some opportunities when you had the time. Yes, sir. Uh, at the time, they definitely felt like setbacks, but now I feel like we're in the right place at the right time and everything happened exactly like it was supposed to. I, mean, I kind of have this problem of thinking I'm older than I am and really I'm 26 years old, still nice and young, really getting started at a good time. Feels like I'm doing the right things. And really, you even I said, now I'm finally carrying myself like a professional and it might have taken these two years to mature as a person and a man just to, you know what I mean, really follow this path correctly. And since the last time we've seen you, any new tattoos added to the collection? Oh, man, probably a ton. I got a new little boxer right here. Yeah, man, I even splashed up the head a little more. And then actually my favorite one that we've added up, uh, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan, and one of my favorite quotes from there is they ask Arya at the beginning and the end of the show, what do we say to the god of death? So I got Not Today tattooed right under my glove line here. That's one of my favorite new additions. Be the journey as a professional. Again, this weekend... Peak Fighting Championship 35. Mark, thank you for the time. Thank you, my brother. It's always my pleasure.